Hey folks, Mark Johnson, Tech Snobs. Today we're going to look at the Beats Solo Wireless 3 and the Power Beats 3. The idea is Apple's got a new W1 chip, instant pairing. No more all this crazy Bluetooth, you know, pair this, put in a pin code. All that's going to be eliminated with these two new headphones. We're going to check it out right now. All right, so we're going to first jump into the, the Beats Solo Wireless 3, uh, take a look at the packaging. Classic Beats, you know, good old people aren't listening to the music, aren't hearing the music, yada, yada, yada. I really never, I, I had some Beats Wireless way back in the day, some of the um, the original ones. I may even try to pull those out to kind of compare them, but nonetheless, uh, you know, depending on who you talk to, I know the newer Beats have been better. I've tried out the Beat Studio Wireless. I had those a few years ago. Still use them. I, I do like them. Um, they work well. I also, you know, been, been a big fan of the Bose QC uh, 35, which is what I'm using now. So this Beat packaging looks to really be a lot like the original um, Beats Wireless. The first wireless ones weren't Studio, so they were always the, the kind of the, the, the small mid tier size. So. Look at the packaging, you still get this little lock, you got your USB cable, you have a, a talk cable. Now the cables are black versus red. Now I haven't unboxed a pair of Beats in a while. Some packaging here. Check this out. And the cool thing about these, like I said during the, in, the intro, is that they have this feature now where you can use these headphones without doing a lot of pairing in the sense where the pairing is supposed to be a lot easier so you get you get a beat sticker you know some other materials yada yada so let's get to the meat and potatoes of this thing and here you go and these are the shiny ones too so I'm gonna do another picture of the so yeah here's the beats 3 solar wireless 3 um, I'm also going to show you this next to the old one. So yeah, there's your Bluetooth there. It also has got micro USB, you know, charging, which is kind of cool in the fact that it's not lightning. Um, so it's more universal. So you know, more people can get their hands on them. So the cool thing about them, like I said, they're really small, compact design. They do extend on out. Um, you know, which is really cool, really shiny. I like I said, I do I do like the design of them. So we're gonna we're gonna come back with the demo real quick of how to um, set these up with the the W1 chip on the on the iPhone 7, and then we'll jump right into the here are the Powerbeats Wireless 3. The packaging is different. Um, the packaging before was was all black I believe very similar though same way you get this out honestly now these I'm excited for more than anything and the reason is is I don't I've always had an issue with headphones that um that stick in your ear so I'm, I'm excited to see how these pan out as soon as I can figure out how to open them Also, another thing about them is that they have a ridiculous, they have a quick charge of, let's see if it says it on the back, but it's got 12 hour battery life versus six, and it's got a fast fuel five minute charge, which is crazy. Um, that's very good. Oh, the way they do the extra earbuds in here is nice. I do like how that is. A small USB. You also have a soft pouch. It feels really nice. It's kind of like a gel. And yeah, packaging very well done here. So we're going to try out and demo and set up the W1 chip. We're going to show you one of the best features I've used in quite a while. And this is the W1 chip. It's on the Beats Solo Wireless 3 and Power Beats 3. All the, you know, a lot of new headphones are going to get it. Uh, right now, it's the Apple ones, of course. So I'm just going to turn on these headphones real quick 
And you see that? As soon as I hit the power button on these things, it just pops up, it says connect. Beat Soul 3, I hit connect, and that's it. You just heard that little sound. Maybe it, maybe it came through the, um, you know, the camera here or not, but so easy, so simple. I mean, it's by far, it makes using Bluetooth a lot, lot better. And what I really like about it is it goes across all your devices in iCloud. So for instance, I'm gonna show you my Apple Watch. I'm gonna go in here and click on this little button. There's the Beats Solo 3. I can go to my iPad Pro, click on settings. Boom, Beats Solo 3. And then when I go to the MacBook here and I click on Bluetooth, right there up in the corner, you're gonna see Beats Solo 3. It's crazy. It's, it's by far the most useful Bluetooth feature I've seen in quite a while. So, you know, definitely, I can't wait till a lot of other headphones get it. Same thing applies on the, the you know, the Power Beats, um, you know, three as well. And I'll just, I'll show you one more time as a demo for that. Comes right up, Power Beats three. So simple, you just hit connect. It just doesn't get any easier than that. So, thanks for watching. I'll be on the lookout for more how-to videos, all kinds of good stuff. Take care.